10 Things Locals Do in London Welcome back to another video. If you are curious to know about London and the activities of its inhabitants, then the video is for you. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end to know about interesting facts about the favorite pastimes locals of London. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for exciting content. Number 10. Peter Pan Cup Many people enjoy spending Christmas morning going to church for mass or unwrapping gifts placed beneath the tree by Santa Claus. The Serpentine Swimming Club, on the other hand, is a hearty bunch. No, instead, they brave the bitter cold and take to the water in Hyde Park for the Peter Pan Cup. The odd 100-yard swimming race was first held in 1864 and was given its name in 1903, when children's author J.M. Barry handed the winner's cup, a position he diligently held on to until 1932. Number 9. Twelfth Night on the Bankside Every January, a man dressed in an ivy suit emerges from the River Thames in a rowing boat, escorted by a joyful posse. In a highly uncommon tradition, they wish the crowds gathered at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre Bankside, Wassail, which means well health. Number 8. Annual Sheep Drive Across London Bridge Although London Bridge is best known for collapsing, it is also the site of a peculiar spectacle every September. One herd of sheep is herded across the bridge by freemen of the City of London. Londoners of an agricultural bent congregate to the occasion in the same way sheep do. It's quite a spectacle. Mary Berry a national legend and former host of the Great British Bake Off kicked off the festivities in 2017. Number 7. Guy Fox Night Remember, remember November 5th, gunpowder, treason, and conspiracy. Bonfires are lighted in the UK every year on November 5th, and scarecrow-like effigies of a man named Guy Fox are engulfed in flames while fireworks light up the night sky. Number 6. Neon Naked Life Drawing Events Neon Naked is an immersive UV life painting experience that puts a bright spin on a classic concept. It has evolved over the course of five years with hundreds of lessons completed. It is currently held on a weekly basis in different locations throughout London. Number 5. Traditional Sunday Roast at a Local Pub The British adore a nice Sunday roast, particularly if it is served in a local pub. There are several eateries that provide Sunday roast. During King Henry VII's reign in 1485, the Sunday roast gained popularity. Because of their fondness for roast beef, the yamen and the guard are known as beef eaters. Number 4. Field Day Festival The Field Day Festival is an annual outdoor music festival that features a mix of indie and major musicians. This festival is not to be missed, with a large outdoor dancing area as well as an indoor section made up of four interconnected warehouses. Number 3. The Traditional English Breakfast The full English breakfast, sometimes known as a fry-up, includes fried eggs, sausages, back bacon, tomatoes, mushrooms, fried bread, and typically a slice of white or black pudding, similar to bloodwurst. It's served with hot buttered toast and tea or coffee. Other dishes such as baked beans and hash browns may be included with breakfast these days. Number 2. Visiting a pub Pub culture is ingrained in British culture, particularly among students. Pubs are places to meet up with friends, relax, and enjoy a drink. Even if you don't drink alcohol, it's something you should do if you want to learn about Brits and our culture. Pub visits are enjoyable. However, there are some social rules that apply to going to the pub, and understanding them will make your visit more enjoyable. Number 1. Eating Turkey on Christmas Day Christmas would not be the same without a classic roast turkey, according to 87% of Britons. This Christmas, the majority of UK households will offer a sumptuous roast turkey as the centerpiece of their festive meal. But why do people eat turkey during the holidays? Turkey is a newcomer to the Yuletide table, having formerly been a luxury item until the 1950s when it became more generally available. The turkey is said to have first arrived on Christmas tables in the 16th century, and King Henry VII is said to have been the first English monarch to eat turkey at Christmas. 
cows and chickens were replaced by turkeys because cows produced milk and chicken produced eggs, so slaughtering them didn't make economic sense. We hope you have enjoyed the video. Do tell us in the comment sections if you know any other stuff which locals do in London. Also, do us a favor of liking and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye!